హాయ్ ఎవరి వన్ ఐఎమ్ సంగీత అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ కంప్యూటర్ సైన్స్ కేఎస్ఆర్ ఆర్ట్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ కాలేజ్ ఫర్ విమెన్ తిరుచంగోడ్ టుడే వీ లర్న్ అబౌట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ సాల్వింగ్ టెక్నిక్స్ యూనిట్ ఫైవ్ టీఎఫ్టీ డేటా ఫ్లో డయాగ్రామ్ టీఎఫ్టీ ఈజ్ ద అబ్రివేషన్ ఆఫ్ డేటా ఫ్లో డయాగ్రామ్ ద ఫ్లో ఆఫ్ డేటా సిస్టమ్ ఆర్ ప్రాసెస్ ఇన్ రిప్రజెంట్ బై డిఎఫ్టీ ఇట్ ఆల్సో గివ్స్ ఇన్సైట్స్ ఇన్ టు ద ఇన్పుట్ అండ్ అవుట్పుట్ ఆఫ్ ఈచ్ ఎంటిటీ and the process itself dft does not have control flow and no loop or decisions rule are present specific operation depending on the type of data can be explained by the flow chart it is a graphical tool useful for communicating with the user managers and other personnel it is useful for analyzing existing as well as proposed system it provides an overview uh, overview what data is system process what transformation are performed what data are stored what result are produced etc the data flow diagram has four components process input to output transformation in a system take place because of process function the symbols of process are rectangular with a round corner oval rectangular or circle this process is named a short sentence in one word or a phrase to express its essence data flow data flow describe the information transforming between different parts of the system the arrow symbol is a symbol of data flow a relatable name should be given to the flow to determine the information which is being moved data flow also represent material along with the information that is being moved material shift or modulate in the system that are not mergely informed the given flow should only transform a single type of information the direction of flow is represented by the arrow which can also be bidirectional warehouse the data is stored in the warehouse for later use two horizontal lines represent the symbol of stored the warehouse is simply not restricted to being a data rather it can be anything like a folder with the documents on optical disk a filling cabinet the data warehouse can be viewed independent of its implements when the data flow from the warehouse it is considered as a data reading and when data flow the warehouse is called data entry or data updating terminator the terminator is the external entity that stand outside of the system and communicate with the system it can be for example organizing like banks group of people like customers or different department of the same organization which is not a part of the model system and is external entity modular system also communicate with the terminator this is 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 a basic structure of dft rule for creating tft the name of the entity should be easy and understandable without any extra assistance like commands the process should be numbered or put in order list to be referred as easily the dft should maintain consistency across the dft level the single dft can have maximum of maximum of 9 process and a minimum of 3 process level of dft dft use hierarchy to maintain transparency thus multi level dft can be created level of dft as follows zero level it represents the entity the entry system as a single bulb bubble and provides overall picture of the system one level dft the it represent the main function of the system and how they interact with each other the one level dft a context diagram is a decompose into the multi bubbles process in this level we highly the main objectives of the break down in the high level of the zero level dft in in sub process two level tft it represent the process with each function of the system and how they interact with each other advantage of dft it help to understand the function and the limits of the system it is graphical representation which is very easy to understand as it help visualize contents data flow diagram represent detailed and well explained diagrams of system components it is used as the part of system documentation files data flow diagram can be understood understood 
by both the technical and the non technical person because they are very easy to understand disadvantage at times tft can be confused the programmers regarding the system data flow diagram take long time to be generated and many times due to this reason analysts are denied permissions to work on it thank you